This is my first truck, a 2022 Ram 1500 Hemi V8 E-Torque 4x4. It came with a class three hitch that is not approved for using a weight distribution hitch. So in this video, I'm going to install a Mopar class four hitch, which is 10,000 pound trailer, 1,000 pound tongue weight, and will allow me to use my weight distribution hitch. First step is to remove the bumper. There are four nuts to be removed on the inside of the bumper, two on this side and two on this side. Break them loose and remove. The bumper has factory brake wiring that needs to be disconnected. First, remove the harness from its mount so you can access the back side of the connector. Turn it over and slide the red lock switch down. Then press the tab above it and lift the white lever all the way back. A little wiggle and pull and it comes apart. The wire has one more retainer. Pry it up and set it free. And that's it on the back side. Now remove the license plate, then remove the two bolts underneath. I thought the bumper was gonna fall, but it holds itself in place. Simply pull it back and it comes free. Call me stupid, but I thought it was made of steel. It's plastic and it's surprisingly light. With that done, the hitch is completely accessible. There are four large bolts holding each side to the frame rail. I thought I needed to hold the nut on the back side of the bolts, but no, they are welded into place. Just break the bolts loose and remove them from both sides. I used a drill with a socket adapter to make it quicker. And again, I thought it would fall, but it held itself in place. Slide it backward and it comes out. Then remove the two clip-on nuts because you'll need to put them on the new bumper. With the class three out of the way, I cleaned up the frame so there wouldn't be any dirt between the mounting surfaces. I also took a moment to detail my exhaust tips that had grown really nasty from the long winter. A little extra fine steel wool soaked with metal polish did the trick. The class four is noticeably heavier, but not bad. It slid right into place, the exact same fit and dimensions as the class three. And you see these little tabs? you don't even have to hold it up while installing. I cleaned the bolt threads up a little bit with a wire brush and installed them by hand on both sides. Then I used the drill to thread them in the rest of the way, grabbed the torque wrench and set it to the 185 newton meter spec required. I get pretty excited when I hear the click. With everything tightened up, it was time for the bumper to be reinstalled. And of course it held itself in place too. Could it really be this easy? The bolts behind the plate had some factory Loctite on them. So I reapplied a little blue medium, threaded them in and left them loose until I got the others installed just in case I needed the wiggle room. On the back side, simple reverse of what was done before, reattached the trailer wire connector, white lever locked, red switch locked, then mount it back to the steel plate. Then reattached the second wire mount in its place. Thread the four nuts, two on each side, and tighten them up. Then tighten the outside bolts, put the plate back on, and that was it. It really was easier than I expected thanks to a great, well thought out design. And check out the results. WDH connected and I'm towing a 30 foot camper. Of course, I had to add a brake controller as well, but that's coming up in the next video. Thanks for watching, God bless you.